Hello, cherry lovers. Today, we got a lot of work to do. I gotta get these high tunnels cleaned up. I, both of them, I'm starting in this one. Gotta rake everything. Uh, we gotta do a little weed whacking down through there, get that all trimmed up. Put some fertilizer down, start watering with a sprinkler in here to get the, fertil the fertilizer down in the, in the ground. So, we got a lot going on today. I thought I'd take you along. I want to get this all cleaned up and then after I get this all cleaned up I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna graft that other in the other high tunnel, second high tunnel, and show you how I'm gonna uh, graft that, that tree. I'm gonna do some bud grafting and we're gonna see uh, just what it's all about. And hopefully I won't mess up. I've watched a lot of videos and I see a lot of uh, how they do it but it's going to be my first time and I figured I'd take you guys along so of course that's going to be another whole video but right now I'm going to show you how I clean this mess all up and get it ready to put fertilizer down and that'll be pretty much it for the rest of the summer so here we go one <laughs> One tidbit I want to tell you guys, 80 outside, sun shining beautifully in here, 107 in here. So if you see me sweating, you know why. And I might have to take a break every now and then, get a little water, come back out. But yeah, it is hot under here, but it's got to get done. I got to get things done. Summer's going by faster than what I want, so here I go. Ooh. <laughs> On to the next one. Let's go down here. Do the next row. that I gotta do. Weed whack, weed whack down through here, weed whack the edges. And other than that, that's pretty much it for this. And I'm gonna put the fertilizer down and then we're off to the races. Put the water in here. And then we'll go off to high tunnel number two. That's my job for today. So that's what I'm doing people.
it all up and fertilize and start watering. And I three got three bars out of total of four. You guys, this is a still FS 650 or 65. This is a battery operated 60 volt or 65 volts of uh, a weed whacker. Man, I'm telling you what, you can do a lot. As you can see, I only use one bar for this, all of this inside here. I use this out in the apple orchard and down the whole apple orchard on one charge. So quite pricey, about $300 for the battery. 150 for the charger and I think it was $500 so all together it's not cheap but right now I'm very 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 impressed with it so I just thought I'd show you guys so here we go I'm going inside been out here for about an hour I'm going inside get me a drink of water cool off come back out and rake this up and I'll be bringing you guys along Whoo! It is hot out there, cherry lovers. Oh man. Oh. oh boy, all in the day's work. I started that at 11 o'clock and uh, it is just now four. Uh, if you can look around and happen to see all these moths, well they're part of the gypsy moth process. Uh, what they're saying is, because we had a bad infestation, I uh, went online and checked it out. Uh, most of these moths have a fungus on them now, that when they fertilize the eggs, supposedly it'll kill the eggs and we won't have such a bad outbreak next year. But these things are everywhere. I would love these. I like these better than the, the caterpillars. <laughs> But I thought I'd come up here and sit on the porch for a minute and visit with you guys and just tell you that that water felt good out there. I wish I was sitting in a sprinkler right now. It's 86 and I should have I showed the temperature out there. It was. It was 126 underneath that high tunnel. So I got the fertilizer down in the first six. Excuse me. And I turned the water on and got the water going so that it works that fertilizer down into the ground and uh, so we got that going I uh, still got the deer he ate some more of my uh, green beans but uh, we'll uh, try and see if we can't stop him I walked around the outside of the fence and the only deer tracks that I see on the outside of the fence is in the back towards the trail back there and there was only one so uh, he must be the lonely soul that keeps coming in there so I'm gonna do like I did on the one side I'm gonna run rope all the way down up above about a foot up and it makes the deer wonder if they can jump it or not don't know if that's gonna work or not but uh, we're gonna see we're gonna try and keep trying until we can keep the varmint out so <laughs> anyways I got that to do this evening but I just wanted to show you uh, just doing the high column, I took two half hour breaks and that took five hours. All right, about five hours. So I'm going to tomorrow go underneath the other one and they're saying it's only going to be 75. It's got a 70% chance of rain. Yesterday we got a 70% chance of rain, but there was thunder showers and under that metal high tunnel, no, I'm not going underneath that. So if it just rains tomorrow, I'm going to be working under there and giving you guys an idea of what I got to do under there. I got a whole lot of stuff. I got lists and lists and lists of stuff that's got to be done. Then I see some of the uh, tape around my water lines on the first high tunnel. It, uh, some of them are, are drooping, so I got to come up with a better way than just duct tape. And <laughs> But we're coming along and uh, then I got to get that water line looking like the first high tunnel. And I'm, I'm, I'm progressing here, and I got to get the lawn mowed all again, everything trimmed back up. And once I get all that done, and usually probably by the 1st of August, I will start on the, the shed. And I'll get the shed done, I get it painted, and as soon as I get the shed done, about the second week in August, I am going back to 
excuse me. I'm going back and going to uh, scout out the area that I'm going to put strawberries in so we can have you pick strawberries. I've got, uh, right now I got them on hold. I've got a thousand strawberry plants. So we're going to start with that and see how they go. And uh, But i got to get them stumps pulled out back behind the apples. And as you can see, those moths are crazy. So anyways, we're going to work on that. And hopefully by September, and I'm not wishing the summer gone, but that just shows you how much i got to do in between going back home and taking care of the lawn and everything back home. So got a lot going on my plate. I'm enjoying it. Uh, uh, my life is is the best it's ever been and health wise I'm healthy and I'm enjoying this so I'm plugging on so all right you guys if you like this video hit that thumbs up like and subscribe tell others if you like my videos tell people and tell them to subscribe we we would love to get our subscriber count up we all do all of us YouTube creators love this so and I like bringing the content to you showing you how this fruit farm is progressing and what I'm going to do as I go along. Uh, things are progressing great. They're not the way I want them, but they're doing great. So let me let get you out of here and thanks for stopping by. And I'm going to sit and feel this cool breeze on the porch and relax because today it's hot. So you guys take it easy. Have a good day. I'll see you back here. Bye now.